major announcement by Global Foundries in Malta today. News Channel 13 was anticipating this after we got tipped off last week, and today we got more details about the new logo and the chip fab company's future plans to expand and add jobs right here in the capital region. Today we're announcing here and now that we will construct a new fab here at this site in Malta, New York. Global Foundry CEO Tom Caulfield today on plans to create the company's most high-tech facility right in Malta, New York. The company will invest $1 billion to double the size, add at least 1,000 new jobs, and create 150,000 more semiconductors each year. That's our call, the call for this industry to create the semiconductors that the world needs. The company today also unveiled a new modernized logo. This news comes nearly three months after Global Foundries announced it's officially moving its headquarters from Silicon Valley to Malta. It also comes as Congress right now debates injecting $52 billion into the U.S. semiconductor industry. We all know $52 billion isn't nearly enough. That's the tip of the spear. U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo says this is a historic moment. We'll look back at this moment as the moment it all began, when America is back in the game. News Channel 13 has been reporting on the global shortage of semiconductors. Supply is outpacing demand since the first smartphone was introduced. <laughs> I use a flip phone. Senator Chuck Schumer today admitting he still uses a flip phone. He was at the GF plant for the announcement today. How tremendous it is to be here today to announce a brand new fab with thousands of new jobs here in the Capital District. This is a great day for us. Now, news came out last week that Intel was considering buying Global Foundries for $30 billion. CEO Tom Caulfield was asked about that today, and he said, quote, there's nothing to that story.